So we are here at the Chicago Boat Show 2024. Uh, super cool. So I'm gonna just try to show you all the cool boats, talk a little bit about them, and give you some prices, just like some overview of them, and just to see what the lineup is for 2024. Are they cool boats or are they not? And if you haven't already, this is Big Wave Studio. I appreciate you guys tuning into the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And then if you have any questions, leave the comments below because I am gonna try to get all the vendor contact info as well in case you guys do have any inquiries. You guys can reach out to them directly. Oh yeah. So uh, thank you guys for tuning in, but uh, stay tuned. Uh, some pretty looking boats, some fast looking boats. So let's take a look and see what they got going on. And this is interesting because they have marine padding up front on this like dipped hole design, which honestly, I don't even know why. Uh, why would you dip it like that? I mean, I guess it's just edge, you know? That fierce uh, hole design. You know, a lot of modifications, love to see kind of the chine. Ooh, these indentations, that's gonna give you grip at like lower speeds, but because it's probably, you know, obviously this boat's meant for speed, it's gonna pick up on plane. And then once you get, once you get on plane, I mean, you don't really need traction at that point. Now you're gonna have the design of the hole kind of guide you and your outboards. Um, but the color of this boat, fantastic, beautiful. The whole design's pretty cool. So let's take a look at what, what's got going on on board here. Uh, I like, I mean, just at a glance, this boat seems like it's capable of, uh, of a lot. And then, which one is it? This is the Tomcat 22 Alpha, and it is going for 134.995. So let's see if... Is it worth that 134, yes or no? My gut, is, my gut tells me it is. Because already you have an awesome swim step down there. Plenty of space. Very easy for getting on and off. So very cool. Uh, it says, say, please no shoes. So let's respect that. Um, and then it's going to have like a three-tier step system, which is interesting. Um, which actually is kind of cool because it, this is like, this area is somewhat of a hangout spot. You have a cup holder over there, a cup holder over there plenty of traction with your marine pads you know your seats with backrest if you need them uh, maybe some like life jacket storage right back here no this is just something like some extra storage if you wanted um very easy in and out you know sh straight back to more seating uh let's see the transition kind of a steep drop but i mean anybody who's going to be on this boat is probably athletic already so super cool four cup holders plenty on that side two on this side Probably some like phone, you know, so that it doesn't jump out anywhere. Um, very low profile. If you look at this, you know, I feel like I'm sitting lower. Uh, my knees are kind of like actually like angled higher. Um, but this is very comfy. Uh, I love this. Super low profile. Uh, if this is the case, then I would love to see that helm seat a little bit higher so that I can have full visibility as to like where I'm going, what I'm doing. But again, this boat is going to be hauling. So you're going to be angled up more. And then the back's gonna be sitting lower to create that wake so you can go wake surf, wakeboard, do the, all that good stuff. Then, very cool control center up top, very like speed racy, simple enough, has everything that you need at, you know, very quickly, easy access. Your wireless phone charger here in case, you know, this captain can see if he's getting any vocations, anything important right off the bat. Um, very cool. And then on top of that, you also had this mirror. Boom, if you're gonna be doing any water sports, towing anybody, that's critical. So awesome to see that. And it's just kind of funny that they put this marine padding all the way around. Why you would want this up here, I don't know, but it does look cool. So that's, you know, I'm not hating on them. Just never seen that really before. Um, and then again, love to see the marine pads. Oh, so now it makes more sense. Now it makes more sense. Okay, first I was hating on them because they had it up front and I didn't understand the dip. But it's marine padding on the edge of the boat so that you can get on and off at any point without losing traction or slipping or falling. So that's cool. And then up front is just its own sun pad lounge itself. You have your stereo, two cup holders, two cup holders. This area, I think people are gonna enjoy themselves. Absolutely. You're gonna be, you're gonna have the views, you're gonna be going fast, and you're gonna be super comfortable. I like this boat. I do. Can someone buy it for me, please? Please. Very cool. And then obviously you have your you know, surround sound, you know, party's going all day. Awesome. Guys, we are here with Francisco. Francisco, can you tell us about one of these boats that you have here today at the Chicago Boat Show? Hey guys, Captain Francisco here and I'm with MB Sports at the Chicago Boat Show. Right behind me here, we've got the MB F22 Tomcat Alpha. 
This is our most versatile boat in the lineup, the Do It All boat. Great wakeboarding boat, fantastic surf boat, high quality. Come on down to the show and check us out. Absolutely, and Francisco, a quick question for you, man. What, how did you get into boating? You know, I was lucky enough to grow up on a lake and my dad got me skiing early. He yeah. didn't have a boat, but there was a guy on the water who would come around and take kids out. Ah. And that really ignited my passion. Gotta and, love uh, it. When I grew up, I knew that I wanted a boat. And man, buying my first boat was the best thing I ever did. What kind did you get if you don't mind me asking? You know, I hadn't heard of this brand a few years ago. Yeah. And when I started shopping, I shopped everything in the segment. Found this brand, surfed behind it after demo and stuff, fell in love, and I bought an MB. And now, a few years later, I'm lucky enough to work with them. Dang, that's awesome, man. And then, did you grow up in the Midwest, East, like, where's East? Oh, okay. Yep, born and raised in Michigan. So, a lake guy. Yeah, you're lucky. You don't have to, like, maintain it like the saltwater guys. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, do you have any, like, boating tip uh, for anybody? A random boating tip by sure. chance? Sure, you know, the biggest thing that we get questions on is, uh, hey man, docking's a bit daunting, right? People are always intimidated when they're trying to dock the boat. Absolutely. The best thing I can tell you is, when you're pulling up to the dock, you never go any faster than you'd be comfortable hitting something. So, <laughs> and he's slow. right, he's right. Think slow, small inputs, yeah. in and out of gear, in yep. gear going forward, back in the Less is more, less, less is, is more. I hear so you, man. take your time and just idle in, in and out of gear is the safest way to do it. Awesome, and are you planning to get on the water this year? Oh, absolutely, man. Hey, if we don't get ice in the Midwest, we might be surfing in the snow. <laughs> Dude, I hear you. Awesome, I appreciate you, Francisco. Yeah. And then if people want to reach out or you know get more information from you, where can they uh, get in contact with you guys? Absolutely, so our dealership is the Edge of Portage, Michigan, but you can follow us on social media, and I run a wake surf clinic over in Michigan where we teach people how to wakeboard or wake surf, get people on the water. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Soul Surf Co. S O L S U R F Soul Surf Co. Awesome. So there you guys have it. All right, guys. So in this section we have Regal. Let's take a look at this red one over here, which is the LS4. And the reason I'm picking this one is because this one's kind of in the middle tier. And it's at 115658. So let's see what they offer at kind of the mid range. Uh, right off the bat, the swim step. I mean, it's pretty nice, pretty simple. Um, I love this kind of nice, easy access. Uh, you know, one person can definitely be having a great time laying out here, laying out there. And you can still, you know, get in and out without interrupting your passengers, enjoying themselves. Plenty of cup holders again. You do have some wells on the side, but given that they have those covers on them, you're probably going to have chips and stuff get stuck, hair, whatever. Um, probably be better if it was just open. That's why I, uh, I like them to go kind of horizontal and out rather than down and out. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Plenty of seating. You do have your kind of very, look, look kind of high tech, but super simple. A control center there, your helm, nice and easy. Your button's out of the way, which is great. Um, so that's awesome. And then you have plenty of space on this passenger seating also. I mean, come on. Who doesn't want to just sit here while someone else drives the boat? <laughs> and then, so very cool. Looks like you have your stereo system there. Some dry storage up front. Awesome. And then up front, again, plenty of storage. A little bit of a back bump rest there. Um, handles in case you need to hold on. And I actually like that they extended the handle here because, I mean, if anyone else wants to hold on at any point for whatever reason, um, the more, you know, safety there is, the better. Um, and then up here, this is a minor detail, but I love it because I don't know how many times I've seen people step on boats wherever they want, for example. And you're basically just stepping on, you know, the, the shell itself, which depending on what you're wearing, you know, you could ding it. Or if you're barefoot and there's any bit of moisture on there, you're going to slip and fall. So the fact that they put, you know, these marine pads in some of those critical areas where people tend to jump on and off the boat is genius. Love it. All right, and then get our shoes if we're gonna leave this area. And then before we leave Regal, we covered the mid end, and now we're gonna cover the the uh, top end. This is the LS9 Surf. This one's going for two thirty four nine. So this is double the other one. So swim step space. I mean, what like thirty percent more on that? Super cool. Plenty of space for your passengers here. Again, easy access. You know, Regal is really great about doing that, uh, letting you get in and off the boat pretty easy. Uh, plenty of space here and honestly as i just sit here there's so much room there's so much room i feel like i'm in a living room because look at that my feet are all the way extended and yet someone else could uh, someone else could do the same if they're short and we still won't even touch uh which is awesome so again you have stereo cool led lights for you know just out there in the evening having fun maybe a sunset session 
Uh, you have your control panel over here, which is away from the helm, which I think is awesome so that the passengers can control the music uh, and do their thing while the captain, you know, maintains control of the vessel and, you know, does his thing, gets everyone home safe. Um, looks like you have some more dry storage in there. Oh, you even have a little bit of a mini head in there, which is pretty cool depending on where you are. Um, you know, you don't always have the chance to go dock back, you know, to where you left launch from. Um, so the fact that they give you some type of option to, you know, use the restroom is great. Now, if you notice that other mid-tier Regal that we talked about had the marine pads up front and on those corners, right? This one, if you notice, actually doesn't have that marine padding, but it does have grip. Um, if you ask me, I would love to have that marine padding because if by chance you ever were to slip, the more marine padding you have on the boat, the less you're gonna hurt yourself. This is still pretty rough. Does it give you grip? Absolutely. But you don't wanna hit that. You'd rather like step on marine padding if possible. Um, very cool. Very nice boat. It looks like you even have a thruster option here, which for anybody who doesn't have that much experience um, on the boat, you're gonna be able to you know, control your docking pretty easy with that thruster. But uh, if you're one of those boaters, I encourage you to get out there and just practice um, the, you know, the, the more experience you have with your boat, obviously the better you're gonna be able to control it. And, uh, and always anticipate the wind. The wind affects people and they never really take into account how that's gonna affect you. Especially because this is a jet boat. So how a jet boat, you know, maneuvers and how you can, you know, you know, I'm used to having t two outboards on the back so that you can put one forward and one back and you can kind of spin on a dime if you need to. Uh, so a jet boat, I actually haven't driven, uh, very interesting. But there you have it, guys. So you have a top end Regal and then that mid level uh, 115 and then 234. What do you guys think about Regal? Please leave any comments below. All righty, guys. And then on this section, we have Viaggio. So let's take a look to see what they brought to the show, what they got in store. And actually, I mean, if we're going to review this one right off the bat, um, I mean, the exterior. I mean, it looks kind of beastly, you know what I mean? I mean, it's got your LEDs underneath, um, kind of a matte black finish with kind of some more glossy uh, rails there. You do have steps up front if you need to, which is helps when you're docking, so that's pretty cool to see. Um, and then you kind of have like a, a wide, hmm, there's just plenty of room if you had to step on it. Um, but look at how spacious that is that interior there's plenty of space i mean that's a party right there ready to, waiting to happen so you know careful careful who you bring on that boat and look at this lounge setup boom that looks comfy and that's just plenty of seating for anybody else who wants to join you and uh look at that kind of like little visual i kind of like that little detail they gave the stereo and, and the uh the vinyl so let's take a look here what's going on guys and then this is the 26 uw and this one's showing at 158.31. So again, guys, this is a pontoon. And it's a tri-tune. So let's see how this one compares to the others. And it's rocking a Mercury 400. So power speed. You have enough. You got everything you need. Cup holders on the back. Kind of cool. I haven't seen that. You know, that space of a boat used for in that way. And then they light up, which is, I mean, it's cool. And in regards to the swim step over here, I mean, you do have kind of plenty of room you know two people can stand over there without you know falling off two people can probably stand here that swim step looks like the easiest access i've ever seen so that looks awesome well designed plenty of space on this seating like look at how wide that is that's comfy even a big person's gonna enjoy themselves on that no problem and then uh, you do have a nice bimini of course you gotta have that and super comfy passenger and captain seats um, love to see it. The LEDs are kind of nice touch. Cup holders, easy controls, uh, nice setup for the captain. He's even got a kind of a raised step there. And then I'm surprised some more storage underneath. And then a nice up front. Uh, you know, it's, it's a great boat. It's a great boat. Looks very cool. And this is, this is Viaggio. So uh, I think Viaggio, when it comes to pontoons, you know, they came to play nice let's take a look at this one so that's the first one we reviewed and just to get a different price point let's see what we got huh all right so let's see what viaggio a more affordable price point would be this one is the lago x22r and that's showing at 54070 
So up front, you have kind of a minimal swim step, but if you notice, you have cuff bumpers on those corners, which when you're docking, I don't, I don't know any captain who hasn't hit a dock. So um, that's nice to see that you're gonna protect your boat a little bit more. Um, and then up front, you have plenty of space, wide enough that that's comfy. Look at how nice big that backrest is. And then that vinyl, I like that. They switched it up a little bit. You know, this texture I haven't seen really on a boat before. Um, and it's just nice to see something different. And then you can easily navigate from there to here. Um, super easy. Give me one second. Oh. So we're here with Jay with Viaggio. So uh, one of the boats that they have here today is the Lago Z uh, 22Q and it's showing at 83.9. So Jay, what can you tell us about this boat? Yeah, how are you guys doing today? Uh, I'm on the 2024 Lago Z 22Q. And what this is, brand new for this year, this is our Z model. So this is 22 foot in length, and this is, it has a furniture layout that's exclusive to Piaggio. It has four quad recliners in the middle. Yeah. So it's great for entertaining, chilling out. You've got a table there, cards, drinks, whatever. Plenty of seating up front. You'll notice the bench seating up front. It has armrests that come out. Your speakers lit up, cup holders. You have USB chargers in here as well. Yeah. Uh, portable cup holders in the front for even more. You have to scoop it on up. There you go. That's awesome. All right. The the uh, helm is a obviously raised black helm. We have a Simrad nine inch Simrad touch screen there. So your all of your stereo controls are done there. Here you just got your volume knob, mute, all your switches, your gauges in addition to that. Another nice option here on this. This is a portable seat in the middle that seat will fit in the stern where it is now or it fits in the opening in the bow as well right on so that can be moved to whatever side of the boat depending on how you do your boating very cool and then you've got access out the back we have a two foot extended swim aft on the back with your boarding ladder and we even have a lily pad diving board and oh it's off the back as well. haven't seen that Ready very cool like 250 pounds so most anybody can jump awesome. off awesome kids are gonna have fun huge huge uh, ski tow bar that's rated for tubing as well family fun all day very cool and then uh jay just some random questions but how did you get into boating uh my dad and uh, we've got a cabin in northern wisconsin and my dad was in the business and then we uh we spent a lot of summers in northern wisconsin so it's good stuff are you jealous at all of the saltwater guys are <laughs> they should be jealous of me <laughs> i think so i think so and then what can you tell us about like the raised uh, helm over there is that it, like a trend is that a new is that it, standard now it's a trend it's it's not standard it's typically the upper tier boats will have it um it's nice because it's, it's the driver a little bit higher absolutely up, up above the people sitting in front of them oh it's for sure driver you're coming up you're pulling to uh, get into tuber or a skier that fell in the water you can see over people's heads a lot absolutely nicer. so yeah and then uh i mean just with my quick two cents um i love what viaggio is doing with like the interior the upholstery like the vinyl that design looks just awesome and the uh the layout of the helm is looks simple and just clean so yeah. i love to see that i think you guys are doing uh, great things to be honest I'm glad to hear it man appreciate it yeah uh, right on uh, any boating tip that you could share with everybody by chance boating tip would be use your boat so many people <laughs> so many people get these boats and they don't find time to spend with their family or friends to use the boats absolutely when oh you, when you buy the boats get a chance to use them absolutely and then uh, last thing what um the tri tunes is that now standard it's not standard, uh, but I'm, I'm glad you brought it up. Like this right here, they uh, there's a lot of advantages to them. So while it's not standard, I'd say the majority of pontoons will offer them now. Yeah. But here you got one of the advantages besides larger uh, horsepower engines is, is the uh, large storage. six, seven foot storage compartment in the center. Oh, right yeah. on. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, so I'd say, you know, two thirds, three quarters of the boat tower probably try to. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, there you have it, guys. Jay with Viaggio. I appreciate yeah. it, man. Thank yeah, you so thank much. You'll find the local Viaggio dealer, Viaggio pontoon boats backslash dealers. You'll find your local dealer. Awesome. Yeah, so good to see the boats in person. Perfect. Well, there you have it, guys. Thanks so much. Uh, let's see what they got going on. Oh, let's see if we can't get on this big guy first. This is already like. This doesn't seem like there's too many people on here right now. This thing is massive, bro. What? What? This is the 380 SSC price point. It's at 1.2. So, all you Bitcoiners, this is your next boat. And it's got three Mercury 400s on there. I mean, power, you're not missing anything. And look at that thing. Woo! Beast, bro. The swim step is insane. Look at that. I mean, you could fit like 10 people on that alone. 
And exterior wise, I mean, the boat is humongous. Let's see what these what this boat has. Um, it's got like some blue LEDs for nighttime. Super cool. Even though it's LED, it's still gonna light up at night and give you some visibility. If you're just hanging out, you know, enjoying, you know, past sunset. Um, here you have your marine padding, which is great. Teak style, love that for grip. You have plenty of stereo there. Looks like you have your uh, waist out port there. You have your uh, electrical here. Nice, easy access. Um, kind of a mini step up. You have a nice lounge area if anybody wants to hang out in the back. Uh, very cool handles here for you, you know for safety. Your kitty doggy door. Um, this lounge area seems a little bit higher than those, the Tomcat, but it's kind of nice. You know, it's a relaxed kind of alert underway seating uh, very comfy I like it and then it's plenty of space you know look at if someone were sitting here the knees there knees there you still have room in between both of you two cup holders there two cup holders there handles love to see it and then those look like they can move so that you can actually probably extend that back lounge area even more um, the LEDs are cool nice and easy to clean which you gotta love and then it looks like you have some table uh, holes there so you can you know, if you want to take, uh, you know, bring lunch, pizza, stop somewhere, dock, um, and, you know, enjoy yourselves, you absolutely can. And then it even has a TV over here, which is pretty cool. Um, very loungy. This is a boat that I would have no problem taking out all day and just having a blast. And then it looks like you can even extend, like, the bimini out towards the back and even maybe potentially throw some, put some shade over um, this back sun pad that, that can be assembled um very cool very cool and then you even have a little mini bar over here with your cup holders gotta love it and then you got looks like a little fridge some storage you know a sink if you need very cool and then you have your console up here your helm uh which is pretty cool because i never really see three you know room for three people up here uh awesome nice stereo so the captain can enjoy himself plenty of cup holders handles for those warm moments in case you know conditions get a little choppy you have all your controls there plenty of spacing so you, you know captain can move in and out um, as he needs you have all your controls here some thruster controls your throttles very cool i like this setup of the helm everything he need captain needs is there you even have some step supports if you want to sit down and relax kick your feet up very cool and look the door is, you know, kind of blocking that way right now, but that is spacious. You know, you have no issue walking through that. And then cabin-wise, cabin-wise, let's take a step down here. What do we got going on? So it looks like storage, some padded walls here, some, a little window for airflow. Gotta love it. Those summer days can get pretty hot sometimes. Um, you know, nice seating area in case, you know, maybe you get some bad weather. You want to bring everybody inside. You can certainly do so. And then you have like another mini bar section also. TV, you know, for any passengers to kind of, you know, uh, they're kind of, you know, exhausted. They want to just relax, maybe even take a nap, watch TV while your captain's, you know, bringing everybody back. Um, nice and easy. And no more storage there. You do have a head also. You know, this is spacious. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? A mirror. I'm sure the ladies want to do their makeup, maybe. Uh, a sink, wash your hands. That's pretty spacious. Um, and I actually like the flooring that they put in here because it's nice, sleek, and um, it's just easy to like clean up as well. Uh, some of the flooring that I see has like that textured grip, which can can pick up dirt and it's kind of hard to maintain or keep clean. And then you have a nice, spacious bed underneath with its own TV. Are you guys kidding me? Like for a 1.2, this boat is actually impressive. Um, wow. Wow. And this is the formula. So let's see what else they got going on. Excuse me, excuse me. Great boat. Do you have anything you'd like to share by chance with it about it? Or where can they reach out to you? So I covered the boat pretty much. If they want. Yeah, in Waukegan. Do you have like a. Gotcha. And then they can find you on Google, right? Absolutely. Awesome. And then your name? Ryan. Ryan. So if you guys, uh, you know, if you guys want to uh, spend your Bitcoin, you know, call Ryan and uh, he'll help you out. Thanks so much, man. Right, take care. All right, this isn't even a boat, but this thing is sick. Look at that. Dude, this thing is wicked, bro. You can throw your surfboard in the back, no problem. Yeah, your windshield wipers, bro. What? Your side view mirrors. 
dude, this thing is awesome, bro. I want one. How much does that go for? Absolutely beautiful. I want one of those in my home. All right, so when I first started boating, I did not know anything about the through holes. And basically, if you don't maintain your boat, your through holes can get corroded. And that's for the purpose of if the boat takes on water, you can uh, get the water out through those through holes. You just open the valves if you need it, right? But if you don't maintain your boat, those get corroded and those wear away. If those wear away, your boat takes on water and next thing you know, it sinks. That's why it's so important to maintain your boat. And with the thrusters, the thrusters have to get cleaned out because they take on a lot of barnacles. So as your boat, you know, especially if you're in salt water, all the barnacles are gonna get in here. So instead of the water flowing nice and smooth, it's gonna have like all that obstacle of barnacles. So that has to get cleaned out. Your propeller has to get cleaned of the barnacles. Uh, but that's just a little bit about the maintenance. And then also when these boats go in the water, I mean this one, not this one, but a lot of boats have to get that underpaint. And then if the boat sits in the water for you know X amount of time, you're gonna have to get you know, the barnacles off, new bottom paint, and that whole haul out process is typically like $600 for three days. Um, and and it's contingent on them getting the job done because if they don't get the job done, now there's more time and or money involved. Um, but this is the Antares 11. It's a beautiful boat. This is actually one of my dream boats. Uh, it's either the Antares 11 or the Gran Turismo boat. We'll see. Let's check it out. But we are here at the Beneteau station with Peter. Um, Peter actually works with Centerpoint. He is, uh, I believe, that, that's the dealer of Beneteau right, in the area. The All right. And then, um, so can you tell us a little bit about Beneteau? Because personally, sure. I love Beneteau. Um, but what are some of the things that like either the customer base loves or Beneteau is proud of itself? Sure, sure. Beneteau is the largest boat builder in the world at this point. They have manufacturing sites throughout Europe. Uh, they have one in Michigan. This boat right behind me is actually built in Michigan. Uh, and as far away as uh, Thailand. And uh, I think probably they're considered one of the best value boats because of that. They're able to really give you a lot of features in the package that might typically be only found on a more expensive boat. Absolutely. My understanding is that last I checked that Beneteau was the, the, had the most boats across the ocean. Like, well, that could very well be. Sure. And uh, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah, um, they've been around since the late 1800s, so they've had a lot of chances across the ocean. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what, what Do you have a favorite model by chance? Um, well, I'll tell you, I really like their Swift trawlers. Okay. And we always have a couple of those. We don't happen to have one here today. Gotcha, gotcha. They're, uh, especially if you want to talk about live aboard. Yeah. Opportunity, they have really a lot of nice space. And even though they're trawler style, they mm. have some pretty high cruise speeds. Uh, what, it, what, it, like size wise, what, what does Benetton typically sell? Do you know? Is it a 38, 40, like 42? Um, what is it? For us, probably the most common size would be in the 30 to 48 range. Okay. Which, uh, that's still like a solo operator, right? Well, as many of them can be, absolutely. Okay, yeah. awesome. And then, Peter, by chance, uh, how, how long have you been in, like, the boating industry? Uh, I have for uh, almost 25 years. And how did you, like, who first got you into it? Well, I grew up in a boating area, in a boating family. Gotcha. Um, and Midwest, on, East Lake Coast. Michigan, okay. On Lake Michigan, gotcha. right. Uh, I've done a lot of boating on the East Coast also, but um, I grew up in a boating family and I've worked in it that long, so I've always been around the water. All right, so with that experience, what can you tell us about like Lake Michigan, uh, like waters? Well, uh, one of my cohorts here refers to Lake Michigan as the Sea of Michigan. The Sea of because Michigan. Because it is like being on the ocean. In fact, it can even be rougher than being on the ocean. Yeah, I would imagine. And is that wind related or what's that? Yeah, it's to, a combination you know? of winds, uh, water depth, all those things. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Well, Peter, I appreciate it. I'm going to try to show off the boats as much as possible. Great. Um, if anybody would like to reach out or ask you guys questions or get in contact, call, where could they do sure, that? Sure, you can look us up on the uh, internet at centerpointyachtservices.com. Awesome. Well, there you have it, guys. Uh, Peter with Centerpoint. Thanks so much, Peter. Thank you very much. Awesome. That's All it. right. So here we have the Grand Turismo. I'm not exactly sure on what size this one is. But you got a twin outboard here. What size are they? 400. So, I mean, this thing's going to haul. This thing is absolutely seaworthy. Bum, bum, bum. You have a nice aft here. Plenty of space. I mean, you're not going to be hanging out here too long. But if you do want to hang out in the aft, you have your nice sun pad lounge there. Your dog kitty door here for safety. You do have the snap-on uh, uh, marine mats on the bottom, which if you want to replace, I love how easy that is to do. And I mean, you guys can't tell, but the texture that these have, I think is a little bit more like smooth. I like it. Um, this lounge area, 
uh, just take a look. It, it's cozy, you know. It doesn't have a ton of space, but are you gonna absolutely enjoy yourself and enjoy the meal? 100%. Um, especially if you're gonna get company. And then, so you have table on this side, you have extra seating on that side, and the vinyl's nice, got a nice design, nice touch, very homey. Uh, look at this helm station, so that's raised. I uh, love to see it because that extra elevation is going to give you more clarity as you're driving up front. Um, plenty of window space so that you can still, you know, see where you are and communicate if you need to. And then look at the spacing up front. So you do have a kind of a, a stepping um, or rest, uh, foot rest up there. Plenty of seating, super comfy. Uh, nice layout, controls, very cool. You know, your throttle control, your, your twin Mercuries. And then you have a passenger area here if you want with a nice handle. Look at the visibility on this. I love how they maximize the view on that. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous. You're good. And then you have a cup holders over here. And then nice easy steps down. You have a nice little lounge area in case the weather gets bad. You can always come down here. You have a pretty spacious cabin over there. That's impressive. And then you have a little, let's see, locker. Oh, that is your head there. Is it spacious? I've never seen that before, but they gave it a little textured tile bottom over there. Wait a second, and you have a shower. Whoa, I just fell in love with the Gran Turismo. Are you kidding? Look at that. Look at the space on that. They don't really give you that much height when in the in the head. And then, bum, 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 your little sink area, and you have your bed. Very cool. Nice, spacious enough. You have your windows to give you visibility. Let that sunlight in. A step on the side to get up. Very cool plenty of headroom and then you have your hatch for airflow love to see it that mirror is great for just like you know it makes it look bigger and then you do have led lighting on your steps for safety very cool and then i don't know if you guys noticed but look at that skylight boom look at that skylight look at that skylight are you kidding dude beautiful the airflow that you're gonna have when you're out there having fun with everybody is amazing very cool Love to see it. I mean, how can you go wrong? How can you go wrong? This is why Benatel is famous. Love to see it. Real quick, just so you guys know, this is the Benatel 2024 Grand Turismo 36 with twin Mercuries on there, and that's coming in at 599. I'm here with Eric with Awake from Sweden. All right, and then can you tell us a little bit about what you got going on here today? So we've been making the highest performing electric surfboards since 2016. We have this is the entry level model. This is the Revit 3. This will take you up to 36 miles an hour. Whoa, that's crazy. And so what kind of motor is that like? This has a standard uh, electric drivetrain. You have the intake back here. It's going to take all the water in. So you're not going to get any cavitation because this is always submerged. It okay. gives you a great ride and constant grip. Yeah. This is the, uh, this has a V-shaped hold. So it's made for uh, all around riding. Any kind of water, water conditions. So Okay. And we have the extreme board here. This is the one for if you want to do those really hard turns with people doing backflips on this guy. Okay. So far, there's been three successful backflips. All right, right so You can see the whole W shaped pool, these rockers, and it's just built for fun. Absolutely. And then I'm assuming that maybe like you're going to try to make them lighter as uh, things evolve or something. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. half the weight is the battery. Yeah, and I, real quick, I don't know if you, uh, I, don't, I don't know if Kai would be interested, but there's uh, an athlete who's built for this type of stuff his name is kai lenny he's a red bull athlete yeah. i think if you guys partnered with him he could maybe take this off bro like sure have him get in touch oh uh, i will i'll put into um and then anything like we also have a hydrofoil okay yeah please so Tell this us. is the electric surfboard these are the electric hydrofoils right. so when we designed it we used the same jet driven technology as our jet boards yeah we didn't want any moving parts or propeller the coolest thing about it if you don't have to waste any time getting it set up or breaking it down yeah this is all it takes to take it to wow Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wood. I mean, if you had a recommendation, what's a good starter? The starter, really this one. It's the easiest to ride. It's yeah. just an absolute blast to be on the water. Okay. And there's always new things to learn. It, what would you say this is like? The, that's yeah. similar to is like surfing, snowboarding. A bit of both. For the performance one, when you have the bindings, it's a bit like snowboarding on powder. Okay. It's um, I hear different things from different people. Some people when surfing, it just depends on what water conditions you're in, yeah. and your rider experience. And range-wise, what can people expect out of this? You can expect up to an hour on the surfboards and up to two hours on the hydrofoil. Wow. 
and by chance is it possible that if by chance you, your battery died you'd still be able to pump foil this or no? no it's too heavy but you're gonna get a warning before it dies okay your remote's gonna vibrate and then it's gonna go into safe speed so you gotcha so time to head back to at the back. end gotcha right on and then if people want to get in touch with you guys uh you know how can they do so check out our website so wakeboards.com and uh, you can contact me directly awesome yeah. well i appreciate your time eric thanks right, so much pleasure, right? so i'm here with matt with munson marine yeah, what's so what's happening everybody welcome right. to chicago boat show matt what boat do we have here today this is a 525 2024 south bay 3.0 package with basically and if that's not enough horsepower, you can do black, True touch interior, so I know it looks black, it looks red, you're thinking it's going to get hot. It won't get hot. I mean, this boat with a single 400. So as long as you don't wipe it off with awesome. detail stuff yeah. and just yeah. keep it with soap and water, this won't get hot. So this is the red and black. So got the Matrix The great thing about South Bay is Tony comes with a Z42 composite deck that makes it 40% lighter and two times as strong as wood. So think performance. Because it has this, what's going to happen? impervious to the elements you're going to get more speed more reliability more performance also the tunes are pressurized which means there's three to five pounds of air pressure in these tunes so you're going to have the fastest boat on the water this one has a 13 capacity check out the helm on this one i like it low profile nice easy layout keys are on the outside so that no accidents nobody accidentally turns it off um nice light up touch screen oh it's beautiful nice light up touch buttons Beautiful. Wet sound system. And the Charger. wireless phone. Yep, the wireless phone chargers. Captain's got to have his phone. Check out this vinyl, though. Can you believe it doesn't get hot? It's got UV yeah. protectant actually in the vinyl. That's incredible because, I mean, even even a boat that's white can get hot. So. Exactly. This is the RS layout. You've got your light-up speakers in the back. This one comes equipped with a 200 horsepower, fully powered bimini. It's ready to rock and roll. And I, I'm looking at the back, and it seems pretty spacious. This back here as well. Very spacious. Life jacket, extra storage. Rotocast. Nothing's gonna mold. Here's the great no thing about this boat. This is a 2024 523 RS 3.0 South Bay that we're selling at the boat show for an incredible price. MSRP is 103.995. Our sale price is 91.995. At the show, it's 83.995. We just slashed it another three grand. So we can sell this boat to you for 79.995 plus tax by the license. If you need a trailer, you're going to have to sell Perfect. And if someone's ready to spend their Bitcoin on this tomorrow, how can they get in contact with you guys? Call me 847-791-5544. My name is Matt. I'm full-time in Fox Lake, 501 East Grand, Munson Marine. Happy to help you. There you guys have it. Matt at Munson Marine. Thank you so much. There you have it. That was some of the boats from the Chicago Boat Show 2024. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully, I, you know, helped show you guys some of, uh, you know, what are the boats that are coming out this year, and maybe even some boat knowledge from the guys who shared some of their experience. So that was super cool. Again, um, you know, if you're interested, reach out to them. And like that one guy said, if you got a boat, use it. So thanks, guys, and remember, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Appreciate it. Thanks.